but like skateboarding was just the way I wanted to learn. I'm not like the first girl to skateboard. You know, there's women who came before me. I guess they just didn't, you know, eat, sleep, and breathe skateboarding like I did. Alyssa Steamer from Florida, she showed up one day and basically just skated with the guys. I mean, it was just normal that Alyssa was skating with the guys. And for years, there really wasn't another woman skater that was skating street. Only hung out with guys and skated with guys, so, you know, and they, and they were all good, too. Like, they were all sponsored, and, you know, they ripped, so it was like I had no choice but to try to rip. I mean, when I first started skating, you know, I would watch a skate video with one girl in it, which was Alyssa, and, you know, it was like, oh, oh my God, there's like a girl skater, and she's like skating like dudes, like skating with the guys. I was always the only girl at my skate park, and if you saw a girl, you'd like go up and talk to them and like get their number and like skate with them, and it's like, it was just like a very rare thing, you know? And I think it was maybe six, seven, maybe even eight years ago that we had to sit uh, Alyssa down one day and make her skate with this group of girls because there's now a group of girls, we have a girls division, and she really wanted to say, hey, I, I want to skate with the guys, that's what I'm used to skating with. And I remember her basically being kind of bummed when they said, look, you need to skate with the girls. You know, this day has come, you know, it's growing, you're part of it. So, of course, now she loves to get out there with the girls. Like I said, back then there wasn't, there wasn't a girls contest, you know, or a women's contest. So, I mean, it's the same, you know, that everybody's so, so good now that it's like, it's really no difference, you know. You just gotta go all out either way. And now it's just like, I go to a skate park and there's like half the people are girls. And it's just it's so much different. The girls are ripping, you know, you don't even know their names. It used to be a thousand bucks was the prize. The girls are doing gnarly tricks. You know, you need to reward them with, you know, the prize money. The guys are making 50,000, so. Like we're actually trying and, you know, doing legitimate tricks. So it should give legitimate money. The Action Sports Alliance is a female skate collaboration of all the girls, kind of. It's like a voice for female skating to push the prize money to be higher. They went in there and, like, you know, they were a voice. They spoke for the girls. And now it's 25 grand, like, it's a lot of money. And winning this much amount of money is, like, awesome. You know, it's like, pays the bills, you know, you get coverage and everything. It's just, like, the life I want to live, you know? Like the men get 100 grand and the women get 25 grand, but the, they're doing gnarly stuff, you know? They're doing like the gnarliest stuff. And it's like we're doing gnar gnarly stuff for us, you know what I mean? But it's still not to that level. So, I mean, it's totally understandable to me. I, I understand it completely. Well, I've always had like, you know, product coming in like boards and wheels and you don't have to buy anything ever. I have a pro board out on Forest, so they get paid monthly. From, you know, I get a salary from them for representing the company. And then, but when people start paying you and giving you a pro deck, it's like that's when, you know, you're pro, you can support yourself. But there's still like very minimal girls, but they, the good ones all have sponsors that take care of them, you know. And, but there's still like not that many, you know. There's about 10 girls that are like on top and they're all here at the X Games.